I'm super excited to show you what I've got in this box. I'm going to teach you how to make a new smart key or a prox fob, whatever you want to call it, for most Toyota, Scion, and Lexus vehicles. Welcome to Tomahawk DIY everyone. I'm Mike. Let's take a look at how this is done. I've helped a lot of people with turn, traditional turnkey start vehicles save money making new keys for their vehicle through my company, Tom's Key Company. Now those of you with push button start vehicles, it's your turn. Congratulations! If you're watching this video, you've been invited to be an early customer of the second generation Tom's Car Key Programmer. It's taken me a lot of work and a lot of time to get to the point so that you can rent one of these and save a bunch of money programming your own smart fob instead of taking it to a dealership. My friend Mitch recently told me that the dealership wanted over $400 to get him into one of these. If you got a quote, leave a comment, let others know what you were going to be charged before you found Tom's Key Company. Now this will also erase any lost fobs that might be out there in the world somewhere. Just in case someone finds it and finds your vehicle, you have peace of mind they can't get in or start the vehicle. Place an order through this special page, tomskey.com slash new. You may need to email help at tomskey.com and send a photo of your existing key along with the year, make, and model of your vehicle if you need to buy a new one so you can program it. We'll turn around, give you a quote, and get you going. Within a few days, you'll receive a box that has everything you need. It'll have the programmer, your new key or keys, it will include this cable to connect to your vehicle. There's a sheet of instructions. Even the return postage label is included so you can send it back when you're done. Now you should know that we hold a rental deposit when we ship this to you. That's to make sure it comes back after you're done using it. Once you return the programmer, the full deposit amount is refunded to your credit card or PayPal account. Let's get in the car and do this. First, you're gonna have to plug in the extension cable. Come look down here. Look around, you're going to find an OBD2 port just like this. They're usually white. On some vehicles, it's over near the center. On some vehicles, it's around this area. Sometimes there's even a, a panel or a little piece of plastic you've got to remove. Take the supplied extension cable, line it up, and plug it in. Now first, you've got to go download the X100T app that's going to connect uh, your smartphone. Uh, there's QR codes. You can just turn on the camera, scan the code, and then go open up in the App Store where you can get it downloaded. Take the programmer, line it up with the cable, plug it in, and screw it in tight. You want to be sure it's screwed in so it doesn't accidentally come disconnected while you're programming. You'll notice now that the programmer has a few lights. Uh, the vehicle, Bluetooth, and power. The Bluetooth is red right now. There's also this serial number that we're going to need to activate it. Look around, find the blinking red security light. On this Sienna, it's right here on the dashboard. On some vehicles, it's over by the radio. Occasionally it's up top here. And sometimes it can be even, it can even be over on the far side here. So look around until you find the blinking red security light. Now, let me show you. We've got our existing fob. It works. Sounds the alarm. Everything's good. Okay, now for what's usually the hardest part. Take a look at your Bluetooth. It's red. We've got to, we've got to get it connected to your phone. Come into your settings, wherever Bluetooth is. Be sure it's turned on. And let it search for the device. It's going to show up X100T-13232. Now if you're having trouble and it's not showing up, there's a couple tips. First, turn Bluetooth off on your phone, disconnect the programmer, and give it about 10 seconds. There's nothing magical, just give it some time so that it uh, kind of clears everything out of your phone's memory, gives this a chance to reset. After a few seconds, turn Bluetooth back on, Reconnect the device, screw it back down tight so nothing comes loose during the programming process. And it should show up. That was smooth.
Once it connects, you can push allow. That's going to open the app. If need be, you can also come back here to open the app. You may have to try that a couple times. Once it connects, you'll see the blue light and come into your phone and click settings. Come over to Bluetooth and you'll see a blue check mark next to X100T. Now we're ready to program. Okay, the next step is come to activation. Click that. It's going to pop up uh, and ask for the product serial number. It will have X100T dash and then you're going to come look on the programmer and type in the number. In this case, 13232. So it says X100T-13232. And then activate. Activation success, active successfully. Okay, it's successful. Now if you get a, I will warn you, if you're using this and you get a, an error that says, please check the network and try again, just turn off Wi-Fi and use just cellular on your phone. That usually solves that problem. Now we're ready to program. Come to immobilization. Please wait, it may need to download a file. Install, all right. It's asking me, you're without Wi-Fi connection, are you sure you want to continue? Yes. There you go, pretty quick, small file. Downloading some firmware. Okay, now that we're ready, come to Smart Key System. There's remote immobilizer, those are for traditional turnkey start vehicles. We need to come into the Smart Key System. Now see there's several different procs I suggestions. The easiest thing to do is just start from number one and move your way through. It'll try to connect and it'll fail on, if it failed to connect, come to number two, Number three. All right, now it's connected. This 2015 Sienna is prox three. Other vehicles will be a different, uh, a different prox number. You see a few options here. Um, make sure you don't mess around with this reset smart key system, reset smart key ECU, or this program ECU. And be sure you're only touching add smart key and erase smart key. Uh, you don't want to cause yourself problems. ECU means engine control unit. So, in our case, we've got two working fobs. We're going to set them right up here. Maybe you're down to one. Maybe perhaps the one of them got lost, or, or uh, when you bought the used vehicle, they only gave you one. And so, maybe there's others out there in the world somewhere. Let's erase smart keys. Okay, this will leave one that is still working. It says, use a programmed smart key to contact the start-stop button. I'm going to take this one, touch the button just like that. And then it says successfully erase. And click OK. So now this one no longer works. Whereas this one still locks doors, still run the alarm. All right, so we've got one that's erased, one that still works. Just to keep things straight in our video, I'm gonna take this one that doesn't work, and some, put a little bit of blue tape on it. Now with this erased, it won't lock the car, won't do anything. Any smart fobs besides this one that we used to touch, the button, are erased. So you don't have to worry about anyone else having them. Okay, now when you're programming, I like to put my other keys, any other keys I'm working with, over on the passenger seat just to keep them away from your start button here. All right, now we need to add a smart key. So I'm going to click add, it's communicating. Use a program smart key to contact the start stop button. Okay, you might need to move it around, but then it'll beep. And it'll turn up here and say, use the new smart key to contact the start stop button. So first, I'm going to take this 
Uh, oh, it timed out. So you've only got a little bit of time to do that. It timed out, I was too slow. Operation failed, I'm gonna hit okay. We're gonna try it again, I'm gonna be a little bit quicker. Add a smart key, communicating. Use a programmed one, move it around till it touches. Now it says use a new smart key. Taking this one, move it around, touch, programming success. I don't know if you noticed, but the red light turned on solid for a second while it was programming. Now, we need to add another one. So I'm gonna add a smart key. It's gonna do the same thing. This is the one I just programmed, remember with blue tape. Use a program smart key to touch the button. Move it around until it beeps. The app now says use a new smart key. So I'm taking the brand new one. This is like the one that Tom's Keel sent to you. Watch the red light. See it turn on there for a moment. Programming success. Okay, and that's it. And one quick troubleshooting, if the programming doesn't seem to be working, why don't you make sure you've opened the car door and just leave them unlocked while you're doing the programming. Have all the doors closed to the car as you program. All right, now I've got three keys all programmed. Let's make sure they work. The one with blue tape. Sliding doors work. Okay, let's take the next one. Be sure this one works. Alarm. Check all the buttons. And finally, let's make sure this one works. Alarm. Okay, now the last thing you wanna check is that each of these starts the vehicle. Now remember, because they're proximity, you can't have them close to the vehicle. Uh, you gotta take each individual one into the vehicle. So we're, gonna, so we're gonna take a couple of these, run them inside the house. You wanna get them far away. Actually, you wanna make sure you get them far enough away. Run all these inside the house. When they're far away, come check, and it won't start. So we know that's far enough away. Now we're gonna go get one and check that it works. Okay, here's one of them. Got it in here. I'm gonna push my switch, and the vehicle starts. So we know that one works. We'll let it run for a couple seconds. Uh, sometimes if your prox isn't working, it might start the vehicle for just a moment and then die. We'll give it 10 or 15 seconds. Once it, we're comfortable, it's, once you're comfortable, it's working. Take this one back far away, go get the other one and bring it. Repeat for all the fobs you have, be sure they're working. Now that you've got this programmed, you might want to go get the emergency key cut at a locksmith. You might not even know it exists. Push the button, slide it out. Here's the new one. On my existing key, comes out, you can see it's cut right there. And this allows you, if the battery on your car dies, you can still lock and unlock the car so that you can get so that you can get into it. If the battery on your car has died, it's pretty important that you've got this key so you can open the car, pop the hood, and get the car battery replaced. Okay, wasn't that easy. Please do me a favor, leave a comment and let other people know about your experience programming your smart fob with Tom's Key Company. Also, we love to hear good news and good report about how easy it was to use our programmer. And we provide great customer service. If you run into any problems, be sure to email help at tomskey.com and we'll work with you to solve the problem. And if we can't solve it, no worries. Our full money back guarantee applies. You'll get all your money back when you return the programmer and any keys that you purchased from us. Thanks for your business. We love helping our customers save money getting a new key for their vehicle. Now that's it, super easy to program. Once you're done, put the programmer, the cable, 
Anything else you need to return back in the box. And then just put on the prepaid shipping label. I'm gonna pick up that trash, by the way. Drop it off at the US Postal Service and they'll send it back. When we, when we receive it back at our offices, we'll return your deposit refund promptly. And as always, we stand behind our full money back guarantee. If this doesn't work for your vehicle, you'll receive all your money back when you return it. So please place an order through tomskey.com slash new. Send us an email if you need to get a quote to buy a new key uh, for your vehicle. We'll send it out to you right away so you can save a bunch of money compared to the cost of going to the car dealership to make a new smart fob for your push button start Toyota, Scion, or Lexus vehicle. Thanks so much for watching Tomahawk DIY. Please leave a comment and subscribe. That really helps YouTube uh, let other people know about my channel to help people uh, with projects around the home and car. Have a great day.